For cheap GTA Shard cards and other games, check out G2A.com, there's a link in the description, and of course use my discount code Azuo for an extra discount. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Sam, or Chaotic, and welcome back to another GTA 5 video here on my channel. Now, for the last week or so, I've been out in Dubai for a gaming event, which if you follow me on social media, over on Twitter and Instagram, you'll know about already. Of course, if you don't, definitely be sure to do so for a more behind the scenes and staying up to date with what's going on in my world, I guess. Of course, there are links to both of those platforms in the description. But I am now back and just in time for the release of three brand new vehicles which are coming out tomorrow on Tuesday, April 17th. This being something which Rockstar in fact have announced and confirmed themselves already last week on Tuesday with the release of the new special event which is currently in GTA Online and of course ending today. So they said this at the bottom of last week's Newswire article, coming next week get ready to take on the Vespucci job. A brand new mode where you're either on the run in the diminutive vintage export the Weenie Issy Classic, coming to your local Southern San Andreas Super Autos dealership, or you're in a hot pursuit in the LSPD squad car trying to put an end to the madcap caper. So basically there's a brand new game mode releasing tomorrow which is effectively Cops and Crooks or Cops and Robbers. Now of course the name of this game mode, The Vespucci Job, is a spin-off of the classic movie The Italian Job, which also featured classic minis. So alongside this new game mode releasing tomorrow, of course, the new Weenie Issy Classic will also be releasing, and Rockstar continue on and state, also be on the lookout for new arrivals from Legendary Motorsports and Elitish Travel in the form of the mighty Vapid Flash GT sports car and the Sea Sparrow Chopper. Much more details to come when it all drops next week on Tuesday, April 17th. So tomorrow then, there's quite a bit of content that's confirmed to be coming to GTA Online. And of course, it will be released at the same time as always, which is around 10am here in the UK, 5am Eastern Time and 2am Pacific Time. Of course, it can vary a little bit, usually 30 minutes either way. Sometimes it comes out a little earlier, sometimes a little later, but usually around that 10am mark. Either way though, we have some pretty awesome new content releasing tomorrow in GTA Online, of course including the Vapid Flash GT, which is one of my favourite new sports cars releasing to GTA Online. In fact, last week when I was away in Dubai, I uploaded videos talking about things you guys need to know about these three vehicles, which if you guys haven't watched, I would definitely recommend going to watch before these vehicles come out tomorrow. Of course, there'll be links in the description to those three videos. The Vapid Flash GT is going to be an expensive one, costing $1,675,000 from the Legendary Motorsports website, which I guess for a rally hatchback could be considered a lot of money, and in real life, they don't cost anywhere near as much as that but it really is a very very good sports car and I can see why Rockstar have priced this car at that figure. It is certainly up there in the terms of speed, performance, customization, appearance, styling and everything else and it's a vehicle which for a while now I've been talking about in videos and in live streams, something which I would like to see in GTA Online and at last Rockstar is giving us the Ford Focus RS RX. But of course, alongside this, Rockstar are also releasing the Weenie Issy Classic, of course, based upon a classic Mini Cooper. Again, a really awesome car, and if you guys like the classic Mini and love classic vehicles in general, then you guys are going to love this. It's also relatively inexpensive as well for a DLC vehicle, costing $365,000. There are loads and loads of customization options available for this as well, and plenty of really cool features, which again, I talked about in a video last week, so definitely go ahead and watch that. Now, unfortunately, it's not particularly quick. Its performance is a little disappointing, but from a classic car, isn't exactly very surprising. And then finally, the third vehicle releasing tomorrow, the Sea Sparrow. Of course, a throwback or retro vehicle from GTA Vice City and GTA San Andreas. Now, this vehicle will be available on the Elitish Travel website for $1,815,000, but I do believe this is going to be the Buzzard replacement. This thing is pretty quick, in fact it's faster than the Buzzard, of course it's weaponized as well with two different weapon options, it's customizable and has again loads of really cool features. So again, I think you guys are going to love this too when it releases tomorrow. But the bit of content which I'm looking forward to most in GTA Online tomorrow is the Vespucci job, which I wouldn't usually say about a new adversary mode, they're usually pretty basic and boring, but this is effectively cops and crooks. Fingers crossed, Rockstar don't let us down and it's going to be a full-on cops and crooks mode, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. 
If this is what the community has been asking for ever since the game first launched back in 2013, this will be a very popular mode. Of course though, I have my doubts, as I'm sure many of you guys do as well, but I certainly have my fingers crossed. Anyway, so there we go then guys, with that being said then, that's pretty much it then for this video. A pretty quick one, just to let you guys know that tomorrow, yes, three new vehicles are being released, and the Cops and Crooks mode as well. Of course, I will be live streaming here on my channel tomorrow when this new content is released, so be sure to tune into that so you guys can check out everything as soon as it is available in GTA Online. But until then, if you guys want to, go and check out the three videos that I made and uploaded last week about the three vehicles releasing tomorrow and things that you guys need to know about these vehicles before you buy them. There are, of course, links to those in the video description. If you guys, though, could drop a like on this video, it would, of course, be greatly appreciated. Of course, leave a comment and let me know what bit of content are you guys looking forward to most, which is releasing tomorrow. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you do, because I upload all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto V content. So, as always, guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.